No fucking shit. Jesus Christ. How many of you do I have to explain the fucking bit to? I'm fake breaking down for money. I'm a performer. I'm an actor. I'm a thespian. Patrick with $275 says you're done. Don't ever mention that crap again. New boot goofing. Two seventy five. All right, that's got to get a cowbell. Here we go. Guys, cowbell it's that, a Patrick. triple crown. This is why you cannot celebrate a steel toe loss because it always comes back around again. So let's see. 300. Uh, Fuck you, dude, with $5 says towards the no more internet bullshit. Uh, Keep squealing, loaf piggy. Matthew with 50 bucks. Hold on. I have to do math. 52. 320. 320 and 25, 320 and 20, no, 320 and 30, 350. Yeah. All right. So we just knocked out 350 bucks. We're now 250 away from tomorrow morning. Uh, Dickheads, your guy's still melting down. I'm not talking about it anymore. Honky with a dollar says, knock out the quad. Let me see some more money or your granny gets it. Granny was uh, writing me yesterday uh, asking me to be a co-host on the show. He was like, you're surrounded by yes men and I'll be contrarian and this and that. It's like, yeah, I don't like doing contrarian show. Like, I don't want to do a, uh, I'm like Steve Buscemi and Fargo. I'm like, this isn't a debate, Jerry. I'm not going to debate. And I'm also like, Granny, no offense, but like, I'm done just being involved. Like doing shows with internet people because they're all just pro wrestlers and like workers and shit. And it's yeah, like, I'm just a genuine asshole. Yeah, Johnny's a genuine fucking piece of shit, and I like that. Matt's human garbage, and I appreciate that. We're both that. retarded. Yeah, <laughs> but it's like internet people are chicken shits who are like, oh, I just want to work with you. I just want to do this. And then they like try to like go into business for themselves. And it's like, you're not a professional. Like That sucks. And Granny's like, I would never do that. I'm like, I know you wouldn't. I go blame other people for me you know, passing. Having that feeling. Passing on this offer. I said, I'm going to say no to you. I like Granny, but I don't trust any of these internet people to put on. They're not going to put on a better show than I can with my own guys. That's just how it is. And if you're someone who's like, I need conflict on the show. I can't have yes men. Well, comedy works best when it's yes and. And we do a comedy show, not a drama show. For a drama show, the conflict is great. That's awesome. Drama shows are gay. They're gay, and they eat at your soul. You don't want to do them. Uh, Los Federales, unless you don't have talent, then you got to do drama shows. Uh, Los Federales with a dollar says inflation varies based on what index you're using. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Coltrane says, us OGs have told you this how many times? Well, the OGs are the ones who have put us in position to knock out the quad today, so I got to listen to the OGs. That's for sure. Uh, 195 away from the unprecedented... Quad. Never done a quad before. PayPal, Streamlabs, Venmo. Let's hot awful with 199. I don't know. I don't know who started this lie, but they're like only supervised visit. Ouch, Aaron. Poor kids. Hmm. When did anyone say that? <laughs> Is that the new cope from people? That I have supervised visits? That's news to me. I'll I'll uh I'll let the kids know today and this weekend that uh the internet says we only have supervised visits, so we got to go somewhere. Is that because I'm taking my kids to the to see their grandparents today? <laughs> imagine I mean, being, I guess that is a supervised visit. Imagine being so warped that you hear a parent going, I'm going to take my children to see their grandparents after school today, and they go, it must be supervised. Dude, you guys got you guys got to work on yourselves. But they didn't want to talk about who bought the boats or the people. Oh, okay. That, you know what? That makes sense, Johnny. That was a really astute take. I appreciate it. And now you get called the anti-Semite on message boards. I like that. Will Heron. Well, I mean, it's not wrong. Speaking of Jews, TV's Will Heron with five bucks. 
Thank you, TV's Will Heron. Says, dying is for the weak. That's right. Will Heron, as you know, never died. Did not what? die. Did uh, not die. Also, uh, if you're just joining us, we are only $215 away from a quad. If you don't know what a quad is, it's knocking out four goals in one show. We knocked out last night, this morning, tonight, and now we're trying to knock out tomorrow morning before today's show is over. And we're not even half done with today's show. So 215 away from the ever, uh, the ever, uh, uh, what, uh, evasive quad. We've never had a quad in Steel Toe history. You know who should knock out the other 215 is the quad father. It's, it's fun. A- this is a good time. Don't anybody worry. Clipper channels are going to get to clip it and say Steel Toe's having a meltdown. So they get some content out of it. Patrick Melton's losing his mind and is about to blow his head off. So, I mean, the fact that I'm melting down has to make him feel a little bit better, right? Or, well, I don't know. If if he's thinking long-term, it would make him feel worse because, like, you're his content. If Bro, you go um, bye-bye, what is... Flat Cat Jessica with two bucks says, number one toe gal checking in. Flat Thank Cat you. Jessica, did you see that I unbanned you? You've said horrible, disgusting, distasteful, terrible things about me. And I unbanned you. You know why? Because you're a girl and you don't know any better. Some guy with tattoos probably talked you into it and made you live a terrible, nefarious life. And you girls with your squirrel brains deserve a little credit because it wasn't your decision. You were dragged into it by a man. <laughs> and I forgive you for that. Thank you, Flat Cat. <laughs> you know what I should do? I don't know. At this point, anything's up. What's going? Where are we going? I should lose my mind more often. This is fun. I mean, I'm, in a controlled environment, yeah, I, I suppose it, it's okay as long as we keep it contained to, like, just the show. Losing your mind, like, all the time might not be good. Oh, no, I'm picking my kids up from school today. We're going to have a great time. Uh, Matt is uh, annoyed Wawa supervisor. Says, Matt is legitimately the dumbest person I've ever seen on a broadcast. Yes, that's part of his charm. He's retarded. Oh, Aaron's bald spot. Hey, you spelled it wrong. You always hit the goal when Johnny is on, but you miss when Matt is on. But last night you said you'd have to let Johnny go if you didn't hit the goal. Why not fire Matt instead? The insinu- I more. The insinuation was both of them. Not one of them. It was both. Matt was sitting next to me. Obviously, I'd punch him in the face and tell him to get out and save myself. I'm not the cat. I'm the captain of the ship who goes down with the ship, but I throw everybody the off first. Like, right. Get out yeah, of here. Over. Yesterday's done. Today's done. Tonight's done. And we're 75 away from tomorrow morning. So- and my show's been going great. David Chandler showed up yesterday and a bunch of people were super supportive. So everyone's doing good. Hooray. No offense, Chandler, but where have you been? <laughs> Chandler, get in there with 75 bucks and knock out the quad tonight, okay? <laughs> All right. And if you see Chandler today, you tell him the same thing. Um, no, if I see Chandler in my channel, I'm just going to say hi. I'm going to be very nice to Chandler. He's been, he's been good to me. Well, you're fired. Okay, guys, that's <laughs> going to do it for today.